Today I'm going to be showing you a classic dessert slice, something that a lot of people probably have never considered making because they think it's one of those complicated things. Plus you can buy them all over the place. You can go to cake shops, patisseries, even the supermarket and you'll be able to get fairly decent quality slices. But this one, you really got to make it yourself. It's a fantastic homemade slice that will absolutely delight your friends and is only matched in decadence by its sheer sweetness and naughtiness. It's Caramel Slice on The One Pot Chef. First things first, we need to mix our dry ingredients to make our base. In the bowl we have one cup of self-raising flour, one cup of desiccated coconut, and one cup of loosely packed brown sugar. Now basically all we need to do is combine these ingredients until they're sort of roughly mixed. Doesn't matter if it's a bit lumpy because it will cop a bit of a beating in a second. Now we're just going to be pouring in 125 grams of melted butter. I've just zapped it in the microwave. And we're just going to pour that in and stir it together until it's all combined. Now here we have a baking pan, a very shallow one, about an inch deep. It's called a lamington pan here in Australia. Now what I'm doing is putting some baking paper into it. I'm just going to press it into the corners so it's right into it, making sure there's a bit of an overhang. That way when we finish making the slice it's easy to lift out. Now here is our base mixture. As you can see it kind of has the consistency of wet sand. It's very similar to when you're making the base for a cheesecake. Now all we need to do is basically tip this into here. There we go. Oops, Daisy. Make sure we've still got that overhang there. And we're just going to press it in. Now you can use your fingers if you like. Personally, I find it easier using the flat bottom of a glass. So just press it down until it's all in every corner nice and even. And then all you need to do is pop it into the oven, preheated 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then we'll move on. Our base is out of the oven. So now we're gonna start working on the caramel filling. Now, first of all, into our saucepan, I have tipped one can of sweetened condensed milk. That's in there already. We're also going to be adding 30 grams of butter. I'm just gonna drop that in. Oh, pardon me. And we're also gonna be putting two tablespoons, and I'm actually measuring this, because you've got to measure it. See, I've even got my measuring spoon and everything. Two, or two tablespoons of golden syrup. Now, if you're not familiar with golden syrup, it's basically a liquefied form of cane sugar. And you can substitute if you can't get it. You can substitute for maple syrup, you could use honey, or maybe a small amount of treacle. But if you can get golden syrup, get it, because it's absolutely fantastic. It's great on pancakes. But basically it's a very, very sweet sort of amount. Very, very sweet sort of syrup. And just, there we go, that's about right. Now, over a medium heat, we're going to bring this to the boil. And then we're going to reduce the heat once it starts boiling and stir it constantly for five minutes. And then we're ready to pour it. Okay, now this caramel is just about ready. It's sort of slightly changed colour into a sort of a slightly tan colour. Now we're ready to pour this onto our base. Right, our caramel is now nicely spread out. We can just put the slice back into the oven for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees. And then we'll be ready to top it with our chocolate. In our saucepan, I have about 200 grams of dark chocolate melts. This is just basically your normal dark melting chocolate. We're just going to slowly melt this over a low heat until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to pour it over the top of our slice. Get ready for a moment of food porn. Oh. 
Oh my. And now all we've got to do now is spread this over so it's nice and even and then put it into the fridge for the chocolate to set. Then you're ready to cut it up and serve. And it's absolutely delicious this and I am seriously holding back from licking this spatula. <laughs> And our chocolate caramel slice is now set. It's been in the fridge for about an hour or so and the chocolate's gone nice and hard. So I'm just going to cut a slice so we can see what it looks like. There we go. That's looking good. As you can see, we've got our beautiful coconut crumbs on the bottom, a layer of caramel and that lovely layer of chocolate. Absolutely delicious. Now, Depending how you cut this up, you can have very small pieces. You'll probably get about 24 or around about 12 fairly large pieces, depending on how you're serving it. But the perfect accompaniment for this has got to be a lovely, hot, strong cup of coffee. Perfect for morning or afternoon tea. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash one pot chef show. And until next time, see you later.